Did you know that you can insert blank lines in your Microsoft project? It's not as easy as you think, but in this video, I'll show you how. So here we are in our Microsoft project plan, and we want to create some spaces between our tasks. So what we do is we click on the line where we want the spaces to appear above, and we go to our task tab. Then we look for our insert group and we drop down the task button. Now we see the option for blank row. We click on this and the blank row is inserted. Now we can also insert multiple blank rows. So if for example we want to insert several blank rows between tasks 4 and 5, we would highlight the two rows 6 and 7. We would then go to our task tab, our insert group, drop down our task button and click on blank row. Now because we had highlighted two rows, Microsoft Project has inserted two blank rows for us. And I think you can see from our Gantt chart now that the groupings of the tasks is a lot easier to see. Well I hope you found that useful. If you'd like more hints and tips on the use of project tools then follow my link tree to find out where I post on Twitter, LinkedIn and YouTube. If you'd like to find out more about the formal training that I can provide, then my contact details are here as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.